what I'm really interested in is weapons, and why people use weapons and things like that, and what are the consequences. Um, so really, um, what I tried to figure out was what type of people carry weapons, and what, people, what type of people use them. One of the big things, when I was interviewing, we sort of interviewed a lot of guys in carriage prison and stuff, and the main reason they always said for carrying weapons wasn't to be violent, it was, to, it was for self-defense. Um, Generally, a lot of them had a history of sort of being a history of being victimized and being victims themselves. Like, well, they did have a history of being violent. Um, is that self-defense aspect that was really interesting? Because like, that's not what you get in the media. Like, when you talk, and then you just get known as somebody, some crazy guy with an iPhone. That's it. Like, yeah, they don't. They, they, it's a very one-sided view. Like, and I think that's a big problem. What do you think of the negative consequences or the possible problems? Like, and what people. What we found is people who use weapons tend not to understand those consequences very much. They don't see far enough into the future to realise that this could get turned around on them. And also they don't recognise the sort of the, the criminal justice aspects of it as well. The fact that you, like, if you get caught carrying, carrying a firearm there's a minimum five year sentence for example. And that's, yeah, that's one of the things we've sort of found is these weapon users don't really recognise the future consequences. Yeah. So it's, um, it's quite interesting.